perspective. But let's focus on Sri Cement. The stock has come off the low point of the day. This after sources tell us here at CNBC TV 18 that uh, the ROC has submitted an inspection report on the company. Timsi is picking up some details. She's joining in to fill us in with more. Timsi. Well, as you remember, the ROC had initiated an inspection uh, against Sri Cement in the books of accounts, looking after uh, all the various issues, especially when it comes to the corporate governance matters. This was based on MCA uh, asking ROC to do this sort of an inspection. And now what we are given to understand from sources that ROC has submitted its report, the inspection report, to MCA uh, on Sri Cement where it has not found any major discrepancies or any issues that need to be flagged in a major way against Sri Cement when it comes to corporate governance matters. Remember this entire action took place after IT department conducted survey against Sri Cement and these surveys were conducted way back in June 2023. Post which uh, earlier this year in uh, beginning of 2024, we heard that the IT department has actually handed over a 4,000 crore rupees tax demand notice to Sri Cement. And given all of this, this particular inspection was happening at MCA simultaneously to look into any corporate governance issues. And now when this report is here, we are now given to understand that now DG investigation under the MCA is going to uh, give a detailed analysis based on ROC's report to MCA to take a formal call as to what needs to be done uh, on Sri Cement. As of now, ROC giving a clean chit is something that we are picking up. But yes, what is it that finally DG investigation, DG MCA submits it to the ministry is something that we'll keep you posted on. Back to you. Okay, Tim C, got it. Thank you very much for that. So Sri Cement. For more news and updates, all you need to do is follow CNBC TV 18 on all of our digital platforms.